Now let's talk about the export CSV command line. The export CSV command line creates a CSV file of the object that you submit. And here each object is a row that includes a comma separated list of object property values. We can use the export CSV command line to create spreadsheets and share data with program that accepts CSV file as input. Here do not format the objects before sending them to the export CSV command line. And to export only the selected properties of an object, we can take help of select object command line here. So now let's go to the PowerShell command prompt and let's see an example. And if you want to know the parameters of export CSV command line, then we can take help of get help command line. So write get help and mention export CSV. Hit enter. And here we can see export CSV command line supports path parameter, delimiter parameter, input object parameter and so on. Now let us see an example where we will export all the processes that is running on a system to a comma delimited file. So, so let's start. To list all the running processes on the system, we will take help of get process command letter here. So type get process. And now let's export the process to CSV file. And for that we will take help of export CSV command let. So mention export CSV. After that we have to mention the path, then we will take help of path parameter here and give the path and let's give a file name, let's say export csv process dot csv and hit enter. Now all the processes has been listed inside export csv process dot csv file. So let's go and verify. We can also take help of get content command led here, but let's go to the desktop and verify. And here we can see export CSV process dot CSV open this. And here we can see the list of all the running process on the system. Here we can see we have the type information header here. So let's remove this. So go back and mention no type information and let's change the file name and let's say one hit enter now let's go to the desktop and verify open this one and here we can see type information header has been removed 